Hello everybody, it's BKM, the Wolfman of Reaction. Oh, ooh, We'll be reacting to Tom McDonald. Fake Woke. Just came out. It's trending on YouTube. It's got over one million views, I believe. And it just came out a few days ago. So let's uh, see what this is all about. Shall we not? Here we go. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem, you so culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. Well, there you go. The same beat, same lyrics throughout the whole entire song, pretty much. No real kind of mm, change at all until the end. It changed a little bit. I had to chop this down to a short version because every time I tried to put this out, they would copy, they'd hit me with copy, right, and threat for copyright strike. I sent letters, five letters to the artist, and they responded with, they don't acknowledge fair use. Did you hear what I said? This song and a few other of their songs that I've reacted to got hit with copyright. This is a non-commercial channel. I react, I promote, I talk about their music with their video, just like all the other people that are reacting out there to their music. But they hit me with copyright. I send them a letter telling them what I do, not resell, none of that stuff. I... We'll either dance, my body will move to your, the music, I'll talk about it. And they responded back by, they don't acknowledge the fair use for me, for my channel. So I have to do a cut down version to, get a, to be able to put this out on YouTube. Um, so hopefully this will be able to make it out on YouTube just a little bit I've had it. But I don't know how everybody else is doing it without having YouTube and the other party come down on top of you and control your channel. Because when you have a copyright on your channel, at any time they can hit you with a strike, even if you're not monetized. You get three of them, you're done. So, you know, I don't like it when musicians or artists have control over what is mine, what is my channel. I am reacting, I'm not selling anything. And, you know... I could sit there and go on all day about how the artists complain about people stealing their stuff and how all this stuff and all that, but at the same time, they will take from you. A lot of people that are reacting are generating cash flow for these artists, and the artists aren't kicking them back anything. The artists are copywriting, putting copywriting on their work on the people's channel. They... They own your channel. This is a channel that is going to be owned by me and YouTube only, not by any artist. That being said, if it allow me to do a full version without it getting copyrighted and a strike, I'll do it. If not, it is what it is. Like I said, the beat was the same beat throughout the song. The lyrics seemed like they were really quickly done, fast, just a bunch of writing. It seems like the the song was taking um, problems within our society now and taking them and making little like little statements and then putting the song together and it was not a positive song. No, it wasn't. The beat wasn't a positive song. It was just a negative song in in my opinion. I like Tom. He's a good rapper. He's a good artist. Good. He does great music. But for me, for this particular song, I was hope I was ho I was hoping to see some um, bright songs, enlightening songs, making you feel good, not such a downer song. I mean, a lot of these artists right now are coming out with a lot of down, just so like down, down, woe is me, woe is me type, you know, music reaction, and every, the world is against them, and it's not fairness. And it's kind of weird that they would be rapping like that and at the same time 
trying to hurt people that are trying to help support them by doing the copyright stuff. Yeah, there you go. So that being said, I'm sorry if you don't like the reaction. It is what it is. I can't do much about the copyright. I can only work around the copyright because ultimately it is their music. Even if you're not making money off of it and you want to just promote it and talk good about it or negative about it, whatever, they want to control what you do. And I don't think that is right that an artist has that ability to do that. It's, it's completely wrong, especially when you're not reselling and you're actually doing, a, you're wanting to do reactions, but you're also wanting to be credited for just what you're reacting to, not because of their music, because of your reaction, because you are producing something original. You are using it in a fair use situation. Do you see what I'm saying? But it's up to the artist to look at you and go, Yes, he is. Or look at you and go, no, he's not. And that's, that, that is the, the icing on top of the cake. When you send them five letters and they respond back to you, they do not recognize fair use. And they're out there rapping about fake, woke stuff. It makes me wonder what's really going on and why, I'm, why is this artist rapping like this but on the other hand it seems like they're doing something different just with my situation i'm not talking about anybody else's situation hey i'm bkm the wolfman of reaction until next time peace people watch out for them copyright and copyright strikes they'll get you